Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. Today a very quick video uh, to show you where you can get information regarding minor nobles, knights who are not famous, uh, longbowmen, normal f soldiers who fought in the Battle of Agincourt. I don't know if you know, if you go to University of Southampton page and Anne Curry is a lecturer there, all their database that she used after her research regarding her books, uh, regarding um, Agincourt, the new history, are there. And you can find everything. And you can find some amazing information. So if you go to Agincourt, English Army 1415, English Army table, and you scroll down, you see some amazing names. You see uh, John Agassi, Shoemaker, and all his history behind here, John Agassi. If I say, Eckel and John Archer. And here, the archers also who were with him. It's an amazing source of information. Uh, Albert and William Archer, with all the names of the archers. And if you continue going out, you see Yeoman, Alcock William, Yeoman, possibly a Stanley bailiff from Blackmore in Cornwall, as William Alcock is mentioned in relation to a court case in 1420. And then you go and say, in 1415, William Alcock, Yeoman Velatus, intended directly, indebted directly with the crown, with Thomas. Sweetham, John Spalding, John Walsh, John Bumberley, all the names are here, how much they got paid, and if they fought in the Battle of Agincourt. Uh, Squire, for example, Aldrich Nicholas, oh, he has my name. Squire, on 25th of February, 1401, Henry IV granted Nicholas Aldrich 40 pounds per annum, confirmed on the 7th of November, 1413. On January 4th, January 1406, Aldrich was described as a king's esquire when and his wife Alice were granted a mashar called Ledale, Led, Leda, Ledhal, 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 in the town of Morrington in Essex, together with another man, Richard Berg, to hold to the value of 20 pounds per annum. So many information. Look, I haven't started, I'm not even down yet. If you go further and further down, squire, cordwiner, laborer, squire, Burton Thomas. Uh, oh, it's so nice. I mean, it looks like a role-playing game. If you go to other, then you have another uh, table where we have Agincourt dead table. So here you find the people who died in the Battle of Agincourt. And you have obviously a lot of French. Uh, if you go more down, and you'll see there all the names. Uh, Jean Barre, Signeur de Poissy, I think. Um, and has the information here. Monstrelet Genin, Ferreur du Duc de Bar. Brut, has, uh, Brut the, the author, has a John of Bar as a prisoner. Uh, as also the Duke's brother's brother of Bar. Um, so many information about prisoners, about death. Uh, here, if you go to another page, soldier, the soldier in late medieval England. And here, brothers in arms, the gentry uh, in Sir William Trussell's retinue. There are many more. So he explains to you William Trussell's retinue. And here, the gentry who received letters of protection uh, to join Sir William Trussell's retinue. So you have here Geoffrey Bodell, uh, William Bodell, Thomas de Carrington, Carrington, William de Carrington, Knight, John Harding, William de Harper, William de Houghton, Thomas Horde, Thomas de la Hue. All this and explain to you the history behind all these knights and uh, knight bannerets or minor lords and minor knights. There's so much source of information here that you can create any character you want. But the most fun of it is when you go here and uh, you have all the database regarding soldiers in native medieval England. And if you put a name, let's try and put a name. My name, obviously. It's not going to be available unless maybe you check the Battle of Marathon. But let's put a very simple Jones. I don't know. Jones. So let's search Jones. So if you go here and you see Jones Williams, he was an archer. He serviced garrison of Rouen, also, pers also personnel and field. Talbot, his captain was Talbot. John, 1385, 1453, Earl of Salisbury. So he, Jones Williams served under Talbot. How amazing is this? And you can put any names you want. You can try even your name. You can say, uh, let's put, I don't know, um, you can put any names you want and uh, you can find if there were, uh, we can put Nicholas, my first name. Maybe there was some a Nicholas guy. Let's see if there was a Nicholas with a surname. Yes, here we are. Nicholas William Archer. Nicholas William Archer. Nicholas John Archer. 
Nicholas James, Archer, Expedition France, Cornwall, John Senior Sir, Service Date, Source Master Roll, uh, Nicholas Walter from Bristol, France, Nicholas Thomas, an Archer, uh, Archer, Man at Arms, okay, Nicholas James, Man at Arms on foot, Garrison of Rouen. Captain was Harpley jo John, Sir, Sir Harpley John. Commander was Buford Thomas, Earl of Dorset, Duke of Exeter. He service date was 1422. Amazing information. You can create any character you want. It's really, really a brilliant. I don't know if many people know that this information are available at this site, but I just wanted to have a very quick video to show you all this information and maybe you can create characters from them because people are asking me how you have all these unknown characters. Obviously, we use books, heraldry books and other books, but this is an amazing source of information. You can have any type of, you can name your archers in a small uh, skirmish game. So, for example, Nicholas William, he could be your archer, his captain is Pyron John, and commander Henry V, King of England. So, Purian John was a captain under Henry V. And here, uh, commander Adam John of Lancaster, under Nicholas William. Um, Arundel, John of Arundel was his captain. So you can find the captains, the names of the longbowmen, the names of the commanders, who obviously are famous, we know both of them. But in general, it's a really fun to check names, check you if you're there, and also you can use names for your games. Anyway, guys, this is from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, a quick video, to see um, how you can find unknown, or not unknown, but names that are not famous in history, uh, and but they played important role in the Hundred Years' War. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye.